Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, hey, my name is Naledi. I call myself Lady like all the time, so you can call me Lady. And if you want us to be friends, hit the subscribe button and we'll be friends like forever. <laughs> if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back, friend. Welcome to a very new series. I think we're calling this one Becoming My Authentic Self. I recently picked up a book that speaks about authenticity and it actually inspired a thought in me that it's so trendy it's so in style it's so hip and happening to constantly follow trends that speak about becoming an it girl becoming hyper feminine becoming the dark feminine beautiful things to be all of them but i decided to just take a beat back to actually rediscover what it means to be authentic to me because oftentimes these really trendy and very inspiring movements and practices that come from the internet are highly inspiring they get me moving they get me into the swing of things and i i enjoy them i can't even lie about it becoming an ed girl routines those are my things right but becoming an authentic part of me or tapping into that part of me that is highly authentic is something I am very excited to uncover on this very new series. I'm excited to rediscover, to decide again what it means to be authentically me, how I get to tap into that authenticity while keeping in touch with the trends around me but not letting them control and lead how I choose to navigate life. The obvious first step would be to define authenticity if you want to become something you define what it is for you or you fall bait to being told by everyone else what that looks like and this is actually very interesting because the more you go through things the easier it becomes to actually determine what it is makes sense for you and what doesn't and for me authenticity would have four primary pillars one being peace before priorities seeking reverence being intentional and serenity so if i was to put all those pillars into one vision one mission statement i would say prioritizing peace and ensuring that everything works around my peace determining a place where i feel most at peace and everyone else and everything else is centered around my peace and not the other way around where i I'm chasing things and chasing people and not really cognizant about where I feel most at peace. Seeking reverence is first knowing what brings me reverence when I feel most in tune with something greater than me. Um, many things bring me that feeling and I am very intentional about incorporating those things in as much of my days as I possibly can. When I hit the road running and I'm in like the third kilometer and suddenly the noise of the world is just gone and it's just me and my feet hitting tar, that feels like reverence to me when I'm about to doze off to sleep and it's me and a book and I'm just like, whoa, this is really good. This is very fun. That feels like reverence to me. And intentionality. For me, intentionality just means putting mind over matter not just going into things because i know they have to be done or they have to happen but thinking about them and putting heart putting emotion before them and going into them with my mind and knowing that i am putting a part of myself into something that i would love to see succeed Putting emotion into things that people typically just assume should happen. Last would be serenity. Serenity in small things, big things, serenity for everything. That would be like the last pillar of defining what authenticity means to me. That is a very long mission statement. So let's cut it to something that makes sense. So authenticity is peace before priorities. Seeking reverence in everyday life, being committed to living an intentional life through daily practices that bring me serenity. I think that's the most logical way to 
define what authenticity looks like for me. If you want to live a certain way, obviously you do it a little bit every day. You don't just wake up one day and you're like suddenly your authentic self. And as much as I'm aware that there will be changes to what authentic looks like for me, I don't believe it will change from being serene or peaceful or being in reverence or being intentional in the next year or so. Currently, with where I am, these pillars make sense, so I'm going to honor them. How do I honor these things on a day-to-day -day basis? Being grateful. I uh, recently started a practice of keeping a gratitude journal. Hear the noise about it, and you don't realize just how life-changing it is until you get a pen out and write every day things that you're actually grateful for. The small ones, the big ones, my lists don't even like shake the world they're so they're just like the tiniest things that at the end of the day i'm just like whoa that is the thing that lit up my day today without that i probably would not have felt good you know keeping a gratitude journal is truly i love it i wish i started doing it sooner i'm glad i started nonetheless second is intentionality everyday intention I keep a deck of affirmation cards by the side of my bed and every morning before I like read a book or do much I just pick up a card and I read it and the affirmations on there are affirmations that I created myself so I know that the things that I have written there are things that mean a lot to me. They are things that remind me to tap into a power that I already know exists inside of me start the day and you're just like scattered you you lose your head a little bit but when i keep those cards and i'm just like giving a little five minute break to myself before i like jump on to the road for a run or i get changed into like gym gear or whatever those five minutes do tend to make a big difference those five minutes are the difference between a scattered morning and a very calm day there's a quote in a book that I'm currently reading that says serene women do not become sidetracked. Sidetracked women who scatter their energies to four winds never achieve serenity. They can achieve nervous breakdowns, that's for sure, but hardly ever serenity. I think that is so profound. I just love the idea of being a serene human being. Womanhood aside, just being a serene human being who savors as much of the day as they possibly can is the type of thing that just makes me feel so warm inside when i am investing as much of my attention to a single thing my days are just so much more smooth they like melt one one thing into another and that's what peace feels like to me not being scattered is what feels peaceful to me and the more I speak, the more I realize that these pillars are actually like, they build a system that will work so perfectly for me. Being intentional means being peaceful, means being serene. That's just beautiful to me. And the last thing here is to live intuitively. Wow. I think living intuitively, intuitively, I don't know why I say the word like that. But living intuitively is probably the most important here. I actually can't even decide if there's one thing that I would have to practice daily that is more important than the other. But living intuitively means being okay with not having a workout scheduled for every day because that's what an it girl would do, you know, arguably. Like, there is a routine it girls follow and if my morning doesn't look like that, it doesn't mean I'm not being authentic or that I love myself any differently or any less. It just means that I am prioritizing doing things that feel more in tune with how the day looks like, how I feel like on that day. Being intuitively also means that I'm not, not being too pedantic about how things should be and allowing myself to get into the flow of how things are in that moment. I feel like this was more of a heart to heart and not too deep or too big on defining you know, or like being strict on definitions of what this looks like. If anything, I think this is what makes sense for me. I would love to hear what authenticity 
looks like for you, what it means to you. What are the pillars that you would incorporate in defining your vision statements to becoming an authentic version of you? Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. This is it, the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and I will see you on the next one very soon. Look at you too out there Baby, you can give us something